Hey guys, Schaefer Gamers one here, and we got another game by Sega, and the Sonic Team, as you can tell. And, does that music sound familiar? I wonder. Yes, that's right, we're going to Sonic Heroes territory. Now this game I played and I actually enjoyed, but this game had a mixed bag of results, and it was just like, wow. But I found the game enjoyable due to the fact of how it actually tries to multiply three people at the same time and I really enjoyed it. Um, others say, argue that this was like the where it started to drop in the Sonic series but I say it still it still kept a little bit in there. It held its own for a while. So you know we're gonna go and break down and play this game it was just for you guys and it's one of mine's I want to get out there because I loved it. Um, friends of mine loved it, and they want to see me play it. So why not give everybody a show? And so here we begin. All right, let's make a new. Wow. Um, well, let's use this one. All right. So um, what we're gonna do is um, best choice. This is if you're new to the game, I would do Team Rose. But um, anybody that has known this game, I would start with Team Sonic or Shadow, cause, just because. But I'm going to start with Team Sonic. And this is when the old Sonic voice actor was still here, so... Yeah. So you see Sonic running in through... Cactuses. I still hate Tell's voice, no matter how you put it. Tell's voice is annoying and horrible. Now this this part right here gets me all the time. Why does Eggman make a letter to Sonic Heroes? It's like he's personally saying, "Yeah, I'm just want you to come to stop me take over the world." And what makes it even funnier that he calls the thing Sonic Heroes and not Sonic Tails and Knuckles. He says, "No, Sonic Heroes, you come help me out." And let's begin! And we start and begin our journey in Seaside Hill. Head for Whale Island. I'm going to try to get as many A ranks as possible, but I'm trying to at least 100% this to where I can get um, all Chaos Emeralds. So we begin, and the controls are simple. Um, I'll explain them as we go. For Sonic, his controls is if you hit B at the right time, you can ring dash. And if you hit A, you can um, you can do a uh, home attack. You gotta be careful. And if you hold B, you can do like your little dash attack. Switching is Y and X, as you can see. And tells A and hold, he can fly, and he can shoot characters by hitting B. And it, it homes on any item that's in the area that I can hit. Um, so, but be careful about um, it. He has a limited time in the air, so that's how it goes. Knuckles is your main offense, and he's a spread out just to get multiple items most, most of the time. And yeah, you're gonna get a couple of explanations every so often. Don't mind them. Ah, that's what Sonic would be good for right there. So, but that's what uh, his jump. He can jump, and B will help that out. You can even just regular punch. And since he's leveled up, he can do like a little ground pound. And it, they have a leveling system, and they power up every time, like every every level up to where like it'll start having a wider range. And tail fly. Ah, stop it. All right. Um. Uh, check this way. You should get actually a power up. And you cannot tell some this to get whatever's there. Alright, and Knuckles has another little effect, and yay, extra life, woo! Um, get those, where well, he can jump and hit Eddie again, he'll levitate, pretty much, we'll hover. Um, there we go. And Knuckles is the only one that can break these, so when you see these, and these keys will get you to the special stages, which is more fun and interesting. Come on, Tails. Stop. Ugh. Bell. Alright. 
And his power-up version is now pretty much flame effect. Sonic just leveled up, so he can go. And that's how his ring boost works. When you see the B button, we just have that all the time. Whoa. Let's try to see if I can get Sonic to get all over. Alright. And Tails just leveled up. Now, I was just going power first. And now Tails is at, I mean Tails, Knuckles is at level 3. Alright, let's go, and I'm gonna use Sonic because this is fun. I don't feel like going up there with Tails. And now Sonic's at level 3. And since that, anybody with a shield at level 3, Sonic automatically wins tornadoes. Uh, and... For Sonic to do Sonic jump and B, he can do that. Which is just pretty much going to, to temporarily either fling enemies in the air or stun them. Tails kind of starts throwing enemies when he's by himself. That's pretty much what I can say. And this is the little cart stage. Um, you can move left and right, and A is to jump pretty much for the most part. But you try to get the fastest time ever, and I just like miss off the crap with wings. Ugh! I totally just missed that. Land. That always gives you rings or some type of little power up. Alright. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention with the key, you get hit, you're pretty much SOL. There we go. Sometimes you get confused with that. And take the middle. Alright. Are all yours. Ah, you don't have to explain that every time. Just be careful, there's something down here if you hit it, you know. Ah! I, had a, I always miss that for some reason, don't know why. Alright, uh, Vincibility is crazy with tail, so... Speedy shoot! And watch out for those spear guys, you can actually get killed by those guys, and they're annoying. But the first stage is pretty much easy, it's just the basic get through. Like, I'll use like getting all these. Alright. And Sonic for the fun way. Alright, and now this is the part where you have to be real careful. I was just having knuckles right here, because at least the eventuality would kick in. And now he has fireballs coming out there, so now Ryu can eat his heart out. Okay, so we keep running and... Oh, camera angle. Stop. Oh. Another one of you guys. And, yeah, every time he does that, he sounds like his person, so don't mind knuckles. Get up there. Alright, and team attack is the Z button. That's mainly going to be used uh, when you're in a dire situation or there's like a big group of enemies that you can't kill. So that's an insta kill for anybody. So it's Tails and Fly. Free 10 rings right there. Alright, here we go. And. Ah! And even if Tails is at level 3, he's still kind of weak, so... Oh yeah, and if you tap A rapidly, he gets like a little air boost, but it only goes for a short distance. Uh, let's see. I'm taking 6 minutes on the stage. God damn. Oh yeah. Alright, but I'm just trying to get some explanations from the game, so it's going to take a while. Maybe we'll come back here and do it later faster, something like that. Who cares? Okay. Uh. Like Alright. And yes, they will tell you every little advice that they have to tell you whether you need it or not. And that's where you can get another key from. Sonic Fly. 
Whoa. What time I've missed those before? And here we go again. And now we go in Round Town. Ah, got it. Got it. Got it. Made it. All right, get them set. There we go, and now this is a Sonic thing, and I'm just gonna go off the team attack right about here. And which makes team attack kind of interesting. Once you do that, um, you have like a gauge on your team attack to where. As long as you have um, that gauge, you can keep using it over and over. In a home on. So it's like a homing attack. Oh, Sonic has another thing I'll show after. Uh, he has wall jumping. Yay! Brawl tactics. You can get off by hitting B. Alright. And so. And just to show it off one more time, just to be fun. And doing it with style. And that's what Team Attack does right there. Jump and hit B and it automatically kills those enemies. And yeah, there's something down here. Get it? That's your life. Launch you back up. And now we get to the ring and we're done. Alright. That was stage act one of, of Seaside Hill. And they calculate our score to get wow. Eight minutes. I may have to do this faster later on. Alright, skip that. And I have a B. Too easy. Yeah, and you'll get a little whimsical quote here and there. But hold on a sec, guys, and we will continue this journey. And one emblem.